Welcome back, my name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. Hi, how are you? I'm fantastic and I mean it this time. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth where sometimes, just sometimes, I tend to use the word fuck as a comma. I know, I went to college. If you're not into that or weird stuff in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to X out the video here. No harm, no foul. But I'll remember our time fondly. Y'all, I am so excited for today. We have a new nonsense makeup bingo. I love me a good air horn. <laughs> if you are not familiar with new nonsense makeup bingo, when did I get an accent? I literally had this much, okay? How do I have an accent already? If you're not familiar with new nonsense makeup bingo, well, let me tell you a little bit about it. This is actually the brainchild of my beautiful, wonderful co-host, Emily Hanhan. Emily Hanhan. Emily Hanhan. <laughs> Again, like this much, this much was already seeping to my brain. I am just writing Emily's beautiful coattails, okay? Basically, this is essentially a new makeup release video, except we play it in a bingo fashion and have a couple of adult libations. If you are interested in ever doing this video or playing at home, everything is listed in the description box below. Everything, <laughs> everything is listed in the description box below. I cannot speak today. What is, okay, okay. That's just what today is gonna be like. I've accepted it. All right, I've accepted my fate. It's not gonna end well. I do this video in collaboration with these three wonderful people, Emily Hanhan, Audrey at Home, and Lacey from Spooky Lips and Fat Hips. All their information will also be listed in the description box, so please check out their videos and tell them I said, hey girl, hey. And without further ado, here are the potential makeup products that I may be speaking about. And welcome to motherfucking makeup bingo. Cheers. Hi. <laughs> so what am I drinking tonight? Listen, I wasn't pre What is this? <gasps> My freshly meals are in route. This is not an ad by the way. <laughs> I just realized that fucking ad that sounded like. Like, <gasps> can I tell you today's sponsor? <laughs> Freshly, no, I wish. Honestly, Freshly, can you sponsor me? Because that would be great. Although I don't mind spending the money for it because I don't know how to cook. And Freshly literally just comes to my door and I don't have to think about it. And I can just pop it in the microwave, which sounds like a sad, lonely man dinner, but it's not, it's actually really good. Again, this is not an ad. Okay, anyway, my Freshly meals are coming. Just wanted to let you know that. Tonight what I'm drinking, <laughs> because I didn't have enough time, I'm actually just drinking a strawberry refresher halfway and then the other half, this is a Trenta cup by the way. Trenta cup, I have vodka this much, I have Trenta, Trenta this much. Vodka here, strawberry refresher there, mix it all together, had a baby, it's delicious. And um, I really got nothing. <laughs> Today's just one of those days where I'm just very giggly and I hope we have a giggly time playing this game because there's a lot of boring makeup. <laughs> there hasn't been anything really fun that's been released, but whatever, let's let's truck on through. I have my iPad down here. I have my phone in my hand. I have my glasses. It's a very minority report. I'm just gonna be shifting screens around and uh, I don't know what else I was gonna say. God, my glasses are so dirty. That was like a weird magic trick, huh? All right, let's see. What do we got in here today, boys? Oh, now I can see. That's perfect. Yeah! Yeah! New nonsense, make a bingo. Things are happening today. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. That's my husband, Paul Giamatti. He's right now taking a break from acting and helping me sing Wii theme songs. <laughs> oh God. Anyways. Okay. All right. So Hermes is coming out with their spring 2021 silky blush. So you have eight silky blushes, two face brushes, and a special bag for the blush and kabuki brush and lipsticks. Of course, there's no prices. I imagine I'm going to have to contact my financial advisor to see if I can take a loan out of my 401k to uh, purchase any of these 
products. Now, I'm not gonna lie, the component is like fucking cute. It's cute. Everything about it is just like luxury, but also in a weird way, kind of Lego-y and I'm kind of here for it. You know what I mean? Like I like the weird kind of like Lego blocks. <laughs> I'm like, yes, I want this. Now here's the thing though, and this is what kind of bothers me. And I'm pretty sure it bothers everybody else too. Where the fuck is the pigment? <laughs> Like, where, bitch, where did it go? Where did it go? Granted, I don't know how much these prices are, but it's already too much, okay? There's no pigment to these blushes. Like, it's the lightest wash of color. And don't get me wrong, I have some bougie ash blushes in my collection. Some of them do have a light wash of color, but I mean, fucking more than this. This bitch here is uncooked chicken, and you barely see the fucking blush on it. Like, what is that? Get the fuck out of here. Ugh. But in a way, I guess that's what all bougie makeup is, right? That light wash of color. Because we don't want to look like we're very innovative at all. I kind of like it though. <laughs> I kind of like it. I don't know why. I think it's just like the packaging of it. I think it's the packaging. I think that's what's kind of getting my dick a little wet. Cause I'm just like, ooh, ooh, I kind of really like this. But I don't think I could pull the trigger on it. I imagine the blush is probably going to be like, 130, 140, I'm, I'm assuming. Because if the lipsticks are like, I think like 70 or $80, I feel like the blush is gonna be like 130. And in that case, $130 for a fucking blush? This thing better fuck me. Like, I mean, really, ser like, e like everything. It better fuck me, take me to fucking dinner, have a three year relationship with me, buy me really good Christmas gifts, you know what I mean? Not literally like a, a fun weekend and then like I never see you again. Like, no, we're in a committed relationship, bitch. That's what I expect if I'm paying that kind of fucking money for it. That being said, I'm gonna let <laughs> Michelle Wong purchase this, or I hope Hermes sends this to her, which they should, she's a fucking god. And if she likes it, then maybe I might get blacked out drunk <laughs> buy it. But right now, no. So drunk me would buy this, but like blackout drunk me would buy this only with Michelle Wong's approval. And I could feel her now in my head being like, bitch, just buy it. And you're right, Michelle. <laughs> anyway, to be continued. <laughs> I don't know yet. I don't know yet. But I will say, drunk me with totes. Drunk me with totes purchases. <sighs> next. Yeah! The next one is from Rugrats. You know, just when you think it can't get any worse. With the goddamn Blockbuster palette, now we have Rugrats collection. First of all, who the fuck asked for this? Who asked for this? Also, Rugrats, give me some all real monsters, okay? Like. Can a bitch get some ah uh, real monsters or maybe a little bit of like an are you afraid of the dark fucking makeup set? Literally, I will tear this whole place apart. Just, I don't know why I would tear this whole place apart. Like, no, we're gonna make this collection but you have to like literally wreck your whole fucking house. Okay, like sometimes I don't fucking make, my brain just doesn't connect. The hamster is dead on the wheel. What can I say? But who asked for this? Like I'm all for like 90s nostalgia. Don't get me wrong. Like it's hitting me in such a way. I think because this year I'll be on the other side of 35 which isn't bad. I actually am kind of looking forward to being 36 because I feel like the older I get, the more I stop giving a fuck and I don't care about what anybody fucking thinks of me. This is hitting me, right? I'm like, ooh, yes, it's like my childhood. Fuck yeah, I kind of want it. But then I'm like, do you really? Do you really want this? Do you really want a fucking Angelica, an Angelica eyeshadow palette? You're fucking taking fashion tips from a girl whose doll hair was all kinds of fucked up. <laughs> bitch. Get out of here. Get out of here. Also, what the fuck? Okay, so you get an eyeshadow palette, which is really super fucking basic. Basic as they come. And then you get three lip glosses. You get a Chucky. No. You get a Tommy Pickles. No. But then you get a Reptar. I can kind of fuck with the Reptar. Also, wait a second. What the fuck is this? Wait, why is Chucky and Reptar $7.99, but Tommy's only $4.97? Is it that bad he's already discounted? What the fuck? Shit. Wasn't he like the lead? <laughs> Chucky was a background character. I was Chucky for money and fucking Tommy Pickles. Fuck me. I don't know who this is for. Like, I, this, I guess, is like in line with Claire's makeup, asbestos and all. I could see this collection being there, but this collection is sold in Walmart. <laughs> Collaboration with Taste Beauty NYC. Never heard of that brand before. Maybe they're just known for just doing kind of like these really cash grabby nostalgia pieces, but this is fucking ugly. Also, I'm kind of surprised with the eyeshadow palette. Why wouldn't the colors be very in line with the Rugrats show? Like they're very basic ass bitch colors. Kind of weird. I don't know, the whole thing is really fucking me up. And no, I'm not buying that. <laughs> 
even at the low, low price of fucking eight dollars, I'm not buying this because I feel like I would try to buy it and my debit card would just shut off. It would turn off. It would be like, no, are you fuck? Are you stupid? We expect some weird suspect purchases, but like th this is like this is drawing the line, bitch. <laughs> That's kind of what this is giving me. I don't know who this is for, other than people just trying to capitalize on '90s nostalgia because we're living in a weird pandemic where people are just spending way too much time. <laughs> In their thoughts thinking about how they're probably gonna die soon and this is who this is for that's what i imagine anyway it's for people that are like i just want to be young again and i'm not buying that so we're gonna just call this shit a cash grab and we're just gonna we're just gonna keep it going bye fuck out of here next yeah! hello dior dior is coming out with backstage face and body powder wait Face and body powder, no powder? What the fuck, do, what is it called? Face and body powder, no powder. Trenwood, are you drinking? What happened, girl? You also have the Forever Perfect Fix Setting Spray, the Forever Skin Veil Primer, and the Rouge Dior Refillable Lip Balm. Okay, a lot of a lot of fucking Dior here. This looks interesting, but this is where I'm gonna stop you. So this is what the powder claims. Blurs imperfections, check. Reduce shine. I'm not really shiny, but okay. And visibly evens out complexions for a luminous matte finish. If this wasn't matte, and I think if it was more of a natural finish, I would be all over this, but because it's matte, I can't fuck with it. I have dry skin skin if I use a matte powder it's basically putting me into the gray. Hello? Oh uh, that was you? That wasn't you? Was that a ghost? I was just a wind oh my god first of all I almost shit my pants. Hey, uh, <laughs> I shit on my, I shit on, I shit on my pants and Patreon. <laughs> That's a patron feature. If you want to join my Patreon, I will shit on command. So because of that with Dior, you know, eh, I can't really fuck with it. It looks pretty. Wait, what was my point of that? The ghost happened. I got all sidetracked. Fuck. 2,000 years later. So with that said, I don't think I can really call this anything except... So, eh, next. All right, so the next product is from Tarte. Hello, Tarte, it's been a while. They need to stop with this, okay? <laughs> the product that will never fucking die, Shape Tape. It's now coming out with a third, I think this is the third variation of it, if I'm not mistaken, or the fourth. I don't know, I fucking lost count. This is the Ultra Creamy Concealer. Our iconic Shape Tape Concealer, now with a built-in eye cream for 24-hour hydration. Ugh. First of all, this concealer, it's so overrated. It sucks. Oh, it's garbage. Ugh. I could taste my brain on that one. It's garbage. It's the most drying concealer in the fucking entire world. If you want concrete under your eyes, look no further, bitch. So this one's full coverage, natural moisturizing matte finish. Another matte product. Ugh. Ultra nourishing prickly pear for the fuck? Ultra nourishing prickly pear for 24 hour hydration for all skin types, especially dry or mature skin. I'm sorry, really? Because the fact that it says fucking matte finish, I'm sorry, but if you have dry skin, bitch, you don't wanna be matte, okay? Like matte is like the scariest thing to fucking be. <laughs> so I refuse to believe that. Let's keep going. Leave skin looking hydrated, never dry or flat. Creamy, cushiony formula won't cake or settle. Yeah, right. That shit settles so far into your fucking lines. I think I said this once and I forgot which fucking video, but if you have cracks in your driveway, you could use this fucking product and <laughs> just seal it up, okay? Cause that's literally what it is. But all right, I'll keep going. Skin looks smoother, plumper, more youthful. Cushion tape technology. What is this cushion tape trademark technology? Cushion tape. Helps smooth and reduce the look of fine lines, wrinkles, and pores. Waterproof, 12 hour, crease proof. Okay, sure. <laughs> No, I'll pass. I'm sorry. This is just a product that just won't fucking die. Like I say every fucking time at the end of the world, the only things that are going to be left, cockroaches, Twinkies, Charlotte Timbers, Pillow Talk, NARS Orgasm, and now fucking Tarte Shape Tape. That's it. I hope you enjoyed your life because that's all that's going to be left. Anyway, 
With that said, we're gonna call this a product that won't die because it won't. Next. Yeah! Ooh, oh, I don't know how I feel about this one, y'all. Miss Jacqueline, she's been busy. She's been busy, all right? Not only is she releasing really shitty mystery boxes that were obvious holiday 2020 products, she's going back into the lip business, okay? Now, I'm not gonna lie. I did pick up some bronzers and some blushes. Totally forgot that I had these. Literally, they were sitting in front of me and I was like, oh, I'm gonna put this bronzer on. And then I was like, oh, fuck. And so I actually have one of the blushes on and the blush is really pretty, but I have not tried the bronzer yet. Expect a review in the future for sure. Can I just feel this? Oh, that felt so orgasmic. Anyway, so I, I did get these. I got three of them because I kind of wanted to see because I really like her highlighter formula. I think it's fantastic. What came in the box, that was just not what I was used to, um, but I, I really liked her collection back in 2019. That being said, I was not a part of Lipstick Gate. I did not buy any lipsticks from her. So I can't be one of those people that like, I found metal in my lipsticks. I didn't fucking buy it because I was like, I'm not interested in this basic ass bitch shit. Even though I am a basic ass bitch that loves this basic ass bitch colors. It just didn't interest me. She's coming out with some lip products and I did not watch her video yet because I've been busy. Sorry, I've been busy. So I haven't really seen the whole story about these, but the lip collection looks like there's going to be 15 liquid lipsticks and 12 lip liners. All those colors are my colors. This is the Anne collection, okay? This is the Anne with an E collection, the basic bitch collection of the land. And I feel some type of way about this. Even though I have these colors in my collection, I'm kind of like, I could always use 17 more. But they're liquid lipsticks. I'm not a huge fan of liquid lipsticks now that I'm getting older because I'm a woman of a certain age. My lips tend to get even drier than my fucking skin. I like to have hydrating lipsticks or lip gloss as opposed to liquid lipstick. So I have to watch your video to see if they are nourishing or anything like that. I don't, I don't really know. I can't speak about that. I think I may purchase this in May when it comes to Ulta because I kind of want to see reviews on it first. I never want to root for someone's demise unless they really fucking deserve it. You know what I mean? Listen, we're all fucking petty, all right? But I genuinely never want someone to fail unless they really fucking deserve it. <laughs> But I mean, I, I wish her success and I really hope that it's not like a complete fucking debacle like the last launch for lipsticks. Like I really hope it's not. I can't even imagine at that like mental health wise what that's even like. But I'm curious, but I don't know if I, I don't know, I'm gonna wait. I wanna, I kinda wanna wait. I wanna see what people say about it. See if this is gonna be like a huge redemption and like it's gonna be amazing things. And if these are like end all be all, then I'll, I, I will, probably try them out, but I'll wait for them to come to Ulta. Also, I'm kind of surprised that these are liquid lipsticks because I feel like people are kind of moving away from that kind of stuff. So I'm a little surprised that she's coming out with this. Uh, maybe you can't find shards of metal in liquid lipsticks. All right. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm not interested yet. We're gonna put a pin in this one, maybe revisit it at a later date. With that said, I don't think I can call this on my bingo card anything except um, best of luck, sweetie. <laughs> All right, next. Our Lord and Savior, ColourPop. Hello, ColourPop. I've missed you so much. Actually, you know, it's funny. We only have one ColourPop product in this week's Make a Bingo. I know, right? I'm used to having 17, just one. Someone's not stepping up their game anymore, I guess. So ColourPop is coming out with these cheap dues, which is a serum blush. Interesting. A pill is off formula that combines skin loving ingredients with feet rush of color. What? A, <laughs> a pill is off formula that combines skin loving ingredients with feet rush of color. Lightweight buildable and leaves cheeks looking naturally flush with a hint of dew. All right, so this is pretty much M Cosmetics blush serums, which what I have behind me. I love these. These are fucking fantastic. Yeah, they are expensive, but they're worth every penny. They really fucking are. They're really good. What's fascinating about this is that I think I saw it in the Michelle Phan or M Cosmetics. Somebody posted like this next to the serum blushes from M Cosmetics. And you could tell that they were a very similar product, except the M Cosmetics just over 
overall blended out more beautifully and didn't look so fucking oily compared to the ColourPop. I appreciate that ColourPop at least is doing something a little bit different, doing a blush serum. That's cool. Like I like that it's not just a liquid blush, but like, you know, they're doing something slightly different. But you're also <laughs> like on the heels of M Cosmetics. I don't know. It is like a copycat product, but listen, bitch, ColourPop only goes in one square and that's ColourPop, unless there's another ColourPop product. So we're gonna call this ColourPop. But eh, for me, I don't see a reason to get them because I have the M Cosmetics ones. Now, because M Cosmetics is on the pricier side, I can understand why people would want to pick these up because they're cheaper. I don't even know how much these are. They don't even say it. I think these probably are like 10 bucks. Oh, they're like seven. I mean, that's a good price point. Not gonna lie, that's a good price point. Considering um, M Cosmetics is 25, like I get it, I get it. I, I could see why people were going to gravitate towards the cheaper product. I get it, it makes sense. But I don't know, I feel like based on the Instagram video I did see, it looks sticky. And that's the one thing about the M Cosmetics, they are not sticky, they just dry down so beautifully. I don't know, I just, I have such an affinity for M Cosmetics, I really do. Having all these technical difficulties today, Jesus. All right. Anyway, I like literally trailed on and on and on and on. I don't even know what the fuck I was talking about. So I'm gonna say no. <laughs> uh, we're gonna call this color pop and we're just gonna keep it moving. All right, boys. Next. <laughs> yeah! The next one is from Natasha Denona. Hi, boo. Okay, so this is the Circo Loco palette. This is the ugliest fucking palette I've ever fucking seen. This is fucking disgusting. Fuck this palette. This looks like a fucking court jester decided, I'm gonna make an eyeshadow palette. And then that's what happened, okay? There's nothing, like when I look at it, my brain melts. Cause I'm like, I don't even know I don't even know where to start with this. This feels like a Mets fan throw up all over it, all right? The fucking orange and the blue. I like them separately. Together, not so much. I don't like it. I hate it. I hate it. The only color that is speaking to me is there's a green color. Flip. That's it. <laughs> One color that I'm pretty sure I've already have in my fucking collection 76 times. This just doesn't, I don't even, I don't know. Even the looks that I have seen of it, everyone just looks like a sad French clown. Okay, like, hmm. Like I expect everyone to be in black and white and just be like, hmm. Holding a flower and then the flower faints. Like that's, that's what I see when I look at this palette. This is so fucking ugly. And I know Lacey bought this. <laughs> and like we, we have a little group Marco Polo. And she's like, I don't give a fuck what y'all say. Like I'm buying it. And bitch bought it. She bought it. This is gross. <laughs> and listen, I'm a fucked up weirdo, okay? Like I'm a weirdo to the core. I like unusual shit. I love weird fucking colors. But for me to say that this is ugly, that's fucking ugly. All right, this is fucking trash. I can't. Anyway, this will be available March 15th. I believe today. And it's $129. Here's my other thing. Why is this $65? Like this is a $65 palette. This is not a $129 palette, okay? There's nothing unique that this screams like, oh, this is $129. This is such a companion piece. That's really fucking expensive. $129 for a companion palette. Get the fuck out of here. No, not on my watch, bitch. Okay, fuck this palette. <laughs> It's just like, it's just gross. It's just so gross. It's just ugly. I feel like this is kind of like a more upscale version of those, um, fuck those Norvina palettes. This is essentially what this is. It's Norvina palette with less shades and double the price. <laughs> like, let's call it what it is, boys, all right? Even with the Sephora Rouge sale coming up, I, I would not purchase this. You could give this to me for free and I would still be like, nah fam, I'm good. I don't like this one. No, I'll pass. I don't know what happened. I don't know what's going on but this is not for me i don't think i can call this anything except fucking gross so next oh bitch 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 elf decided to collaborate with chipotle i don't know if this was <laughs> okay when this first came out, I was like, you, what the fuck, what the fuck is it? What the fuck is this? Besides adorable, this honestly is really so fucking stupid. It's so cute though, like disgustingly cute, but it's so fucking stupid. I kind of really love the stupid bag. I don't know why, like there's something about it that I'm like, this is so stupid, but I really like it at the same time. The lip gloss I could care less about. The sponge probably sucks ass, but it's so cute. That bitch is an avocado. I love me an avocado. <laughs> Teresa loves avocados, fun fact. Audra hates avocados. 
I almost didn't speak to Audra because of that, but I forgave Audra. I forgive you, Audra. All right. Here's the deal, I bought it. Listen, listen, I wasn't gonna buy it. I wasn't gonna buy it. Then I, I did something silly, right? I purchased the coach collection shit, which if you haven't seen it, I'll link it in the corner. Spoiler alert, it's terrible, but whatever, go watch, it's hilarious. I'm biased, but I did say at the end of that video, if there's any other suspect kind of makeup, let me know and if there's enough generated interest, I'll go buy it. And there was actually quite a few comments that people were like, can you really just buy that fucking e.l.f. palette? I kinda wanna see what's up. Not gonna lie, the e.l.f. palette itself, I actually really like. I think the color storage is really pretty. I love the greens. It kinda reminds me of the jalapeno bite size palette, but there's also a lot of like basic neutral options too. So the Anne inside me is like, oh yes, bitch, I fucking want it. So I did purchase it. Now. Everything else was sold out. So the only thing available <laughs> was the palette. So unfortunately for whenever the fuck I get this, I can't talk about, you know, the other things in this collection, but I did get the palette. That being said, um, I wasted my money so you didn't have to. So I'll let you know <laughs> in a video if it's good or not. Cause e.l.f. honestly is like so hit or miss for me right now. Like some things they make is like fucking banging and some things they make are fucking wonderful. And then there's some things that I'm like, ew, who fucking signed off on this? Like, was Carol sick? Like, what is this? So I'm curious to see how this is gonna be. I have no expectations. So that means it's gonna, gonna be pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna call it now. I'm getting drunk, fuck. Ugh. I don't have Tito's tonight. I have Smirnoff. <laughs> Tastes like battery acid. <laughs> But we're gonna power through it, boys. Okay. Anyway. Okay, so I got this. <laughs> really excited to fucking try it. But I'm not gonna lie though, like when I first saw it, I was like, what the fuck cash grabby bullshit is this? Like this is ridiculous. However, if this was a Kudoba, which I think it's called Qdoba, but I call it Kudoba, because it just sounds more fun. Kadoba is, I don't know if they're everywhere, but I know they're here in New York. Pretty sure it's all around the country. It's essentially Chipotle. Except I think it has better options. It has better salsas. And it has this one ancho chili barbecue sauce. Like, fuck me up. That's just fucking delicious. However, it's now seasonal items. So like Kadoba is kind of dead to me until it comes back. So like you're shunned, I don't see you. But if this was a Kadoba collection, I would have, day one, I would have bought everything. I would have been like, yes, fucking here's my money, bitch. But because it was Chipotle, which I think Chipotle is overrated. Unless you get barbacoa. Barbacoa I could fuck with. Everything else I'm kind of like, eh, it's okay. Any hoosies. And if it was a Moe's collaboration, oh fuck that shit. Go shoot it off into the fucking ocean. I don't want it. But I'm listening. So I have no expectations. So I'm kind of hoping that because I have no expectations, it will be okay. And uh, we'll call it a day. With that said, my bingo card, I already bought it. So I already bought it. Next. Yeah! Yeah! Best part of waking up is falling in your cup. I don't know why that's in my head. What are you, baby? Who are you? What is this? All right, my little cupcakes. We have something from Beauty Blender. Ugh. Beauty Blender came out with the Bound Soft Focus Gemstone Setting Powder. Gemstone setting powder. When I think of gemstones, I think of treasure trolls. I think of their bellies. I think of the gem in their bellies. Treasure troll gemstone belly setting powder. Okay, so <laughs> there are five powders. You have canary, brightening for all tones, buff, light tones, topaz, medium tones, nutmeg, tan tones, chocolate, deep tones. So essentially this is an airy and hydrating, ooh bitch, ooh I love a hydrating powder. The soft focus powder blurs, I love how 2021 is the year of blurring because I think 2020 was so fucking bad, people just want to just escape from reality. So if they can just catfish, it totally makes sense. So I can understand why this is a big, big thing in 2021. This soft focus powder blurs and visibly softens skin via a blend of rose quartz, ruby, sea minerals, aloe vera, and freshwater pearls. What, bitch? Okay, I'm listening. The first of its kind, well, yeah, I've never heard anyone using fucking freshwater pearls on their face. This formula also uses sustainably sourced mica to absorb oils and cancel unwanted shine while light reflecting gemstones melt into your skin. So you get superpowers from this? Creating a prison-like effect in all the right places. I feel like I'm gonna be doing some sort of sorcery with this powder and that means I kinda need to fucking get it. Okay, so. <laughs> This is perfect for a combination normal or dry skin types when you're looking to cancel shine and visibly soften fine lines, blur uneven texture, and finally set makeup without looking lifeless. 
I think this is meant for me. What? Okay, never too flat or too radiant. The second skin natural finish. <gasps> it's a natural finish. <gasps> okay, <laughs> it allows you to lock it. Oh, I need to get this bitch. Okay, so I'm gonna get this bitch. I need to try it. I need to try it. That's some fucking heavy claims. Listen, it basically said that I'm gonna be a witch. I need this powder. This is giving me witch vibes. I need to fucking have it. What the fuck? Put this on my motherfucking face. It's a wrap, bitch. It's a fucking wrap. Okay, so we're getting this. Like, that's it. And we're gonna call this, put this on my motherfucking face. <laughs> I am so excited. I really hope that this does not let me down. And I'm definitely gonna pick this up during the fucking Sephora sale. What the fuck? I'm fucking excited. Okay. Yes, please. Yeah! <laughs> Ooh, hello. Ooh, Makeup Revolution. How are you, bitch? Okay, we haven't seen Makeup Revolution in a hot motherfucking minute. Kind of excited to see them. I thought, you know, they kicked the bucket a little bit, so I'm glad to see them alive and kicking. They have also come out with a liquid blush because this is the year of blurring imperfections and liquid blush, and I'm not mad about it. So this is the Super Dewy line, and essentially it is, wow, look at that hot pink one, holy fuck. Fuck. All right. <laughs> So this is a lightweight creamy gel formula with blurring pigments blend seamlessly into the skin, ending in a perfect blushed look. Bitch, I'm listening. I'm fucking listening. So these are definitely different from the ColourPop blushes because the ColourPop blushes are serum blend. These are straight up liquid blush. So I feel like these are pretty much just on par with like a good liquid blush is from Flower Beauty. Milani has some. So, I mean, I'm kind of intrigued to try it, especially like there's like a peachy color, the peachy tone one and the muted rose looks so fucking pretty. Also the bright rose looks really pretty, but I kind of want to try the vibrant pink. I don't know. Something about the bright pink one is giving me real estate agent vibes from Reno, Nevada, and I kind of fucking want it. I kind of fucking need it, and I think I'm going to purchase this. So, ooh, three for two? <gasps> Bitch. Okay, I guess, I guess I'm buying it. I guess I'm buying these. I haven't bought a Makeup Revolution product in a while. I'm long overdue. Fuck it, we're going to buy some Makeup Revolution. Oh, they're available now? <laughs> Fuck my face. Ugh. I'm excited. I'm excited. I don't know. The colors are like speaking to me, especially the peach one. That peachy tone one looks pretty unique. I don't think I have anything like that in my collection. The other two I kind of do, but that fucking bright pink one though, bitch. Listen, my name is Bunny and I fucking gamble on the weekends and I hope to find my fifth husband. I'm into it. <laughs> So with that said, on my bingo card, I'm gonna call this Makeup Revolution Go Away, but also at the same time, stay, because I'm gonna buy you some dinner. Next. Yeah! <laughs> the next one is from Rihanna. Ooh. Hello, Fenty Beauty. Mm-mm-mm. Uh, uh. Okay. A company filed a new trademark, Fenty Hair. Oh, so it's a new company. Okay. Which might include products or hair care preparations, dandruff shampoo. <gasps> dandruff shampoo. Fuck me up, bitch. <laughs> I'm all about that life. Oh my God. Ah, uh, all right. <laughs> I can't be the only one with a dry scalp here. Okay. Fuck you for judging me. Hair styling, straightening, relaxing and waving preparations, hair restoration lotions, hair bleaching preparations, hair color, hair glitter, and more. Rihanna girl, good for you. Fuck yeah. I guess like once you kind of go into makeup and skincare, the next best thing is going to be hair care. So bitch, corner the whole fucking market. Go for it. Fucking, I wish you all the fucking best and luck and you're cute. <laughs> like, I don't know what else to say. Like, you're pretty. I still can't believe that I'm older than you. Oh God, that smear off sucks. That being said, I can't wait for the next makeup bingo because I'm pretty sure there's going to be a Fenty airline. And you know what? I'm fucking all for it. <laughs> like, I'm cool with that. I feel like they would have good snacks on their plane. That said, um, I'm not a big hair care person. I have lifeless, limp, fat witch brownie hair. I feel like maybe like five people know what that is. Fat witch brownie is a company that's in New York City. This is their logo. This is what I think my hair looks like. <laughs> It's just basically like just, you know, just like stick hair. It's lifeless, it's limp, it, it literally does nothing. It can't curl, it can't do anything, it's just straight. It's wavy sometimes, it's frizzy on most days. It's a temperamental teenager who just does not 
fucking care about anything and wants to be locked in their room and listen to Bjork all day. Like that's what my hair does, all right? Like that's my mood for my hair. So I'm curious to see what kind of products come out for this because maybe she might invent something that will give me some fucking life <laughs> where it's gonna be another fucking product that I won't be able to use. Either way, I'm excited and I'm here for the ride. So with that said, I'm gonna call this new influencer brand because it's technically a new brand. It's technically a new brand. So we're gonna call it new influencer. <laughs> This is dangerous, yo. Call it new influencer brand and we're gonna keep it moving. All right. <laughs> That's so sweet, right? Next. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Ooh, bitch. Okay. This is like the fucking makeup bingo that's just blushes. This is like blush heavy makeup bingo. Next one is from Melt Cosmetics and this is their cream blush lights. Interesting. So give your cheeks a natural glowing flush in an assortment of natural and pearl textures. Oh, multi-use cream blush lights can be applied to the cheeks and lips. <gasps> there was genuine excitement. I was like, oh, a multi-use product. Okay, so each one is $22. They're fucking pretty, not gonna lie. Melts products for me are very hit or miss. Sometimes they're like, yes, they're fucking killing it. And sometimes they're like, no, they're not killing it. Lately, I have fallen in love with their eyeliners from their gel pots. Because I'm on um, a high with them, I definitely will pick one of these up for sure, or two. I don't know, I'm kind of all about fucking cream products this year. I'm all about fucking cream products. These look so pretty. <laughs> like I'm all about it. It's so pretty looking. I love a good radiant blush. I love a good cream product. I find myself kind of leaning away from powders. So I kind of been like fucking up a lot of cream stuff. And I'm kind of happy that this has come out. And there's some pretty colors, especially the first four. Polished, Honey Thief, Golden Hour. Cali Dream, like those look so fucking pretty. Fuck yeah, okay. So I definitely think I'm gonna be picking these up. <sighs> I kind of hope they come to Sephora because since the Sephora sale is happening, I feel like $22 is pretty fair for Melt Cosmetics, but if I can get them a little bit cheaper, obviously I'm gonna want them fucking cheaper. No shit, Sherlock. So I'm curious to see if they're gonna come to Sephora. I hope they fucking do. If not, I'll bite the bullet and probably pick some of them up next time. But uh, yeah, they're fucking beautiful. These are so pretty. Actually, the Sandy Cheeks color, fuck me, that's pretty. Shit, all of them are so beautiful. Fuck, okay. Yes, so yes, 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 yes. I want it, I want it now, daddy. That's the spot, so. Next. What the fuck is this? What is this? What the fuck is this bullshit? This is from Siate London. This is the I am a woman, what's your superpower? eyeshadow palette. As a woman, I feel offended. <laughs> like what the fuck is this? This is so gross. I, I feel conflicted because there's a couple of things. Okay, at least the shade names are after really inspiring women, right? No doubt about that. Like that's cool. At least it's not something sexual like tits and ass and like I make sure I cook him dinner first or I make sure that I make him come and I don't worry about myself. Like I'm glad like those names are not in this palette. Like that's great. But I feel like it's so gas <laughs> being so weird and so awkward and it makes me want to hide. It makes me want to hide in my hoodie because this is just so like live, laugh, love. Just so like... <laughs> I'm a woman and it's just making me cringe on the inside because just I don't know like it's just making me feel uncomfortable like I just feel like oh this is just too much like ugh, I kind of feel like this was invented by a dude I kind of feel like this idea was a man's idea and they were like this, this is gonna be great women are gonna fucking love it and a lot of women are like oh <laughs> this is you know like I mean uh, no this is not what we wanted we wanted we wanted equal pay <laughs> We want an equal right. Didn't want a basic ass bitch palette that obviously is only good for one skin tone. But thanks, Siate. Like, thank you. <laughs> thank you for trying at least. I don't know. This is kind of fucking weird, bro. This is weird. I don't like it. Oh, and the last one is you. Ugh. All right, I want to throw up everywhere. Oh my God. You have all these lovely women and then the last one's you. Because you're your own superpower. What the fuck you? Fuck this. <sighs> I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I feel so icky. I feel icky. I feel icky. <laughs> mm. Also, this kind of looks like a cross between every Tarte palette ever made and the Dominique Cosmetic Transition palette. It's like a cross between those two. Also, the palette design is kind of really 
It's kind of meh. I feel like Siate makes some cute shit. 24 pan eyeshadow palette is inspired by and tribute to the forward thinking, powerful, inspiring women across history who have fearlessly shaped the world as we know it and you, our biggest inspiration you get the fuck out of here this is for all the women that continue to inspire us every single day to do what we do yeah a fucking guy made this <laughs> like i'm sorry i'm sorry a man made this a man made this and thought this was you know all women were gonna be like oh my god this is the fucking best thing ever no again siate you know like thank you <laughs> thank you i guess for just trying but i'm all set Women, we're all set. Everybody, people in general, <laughs> like we we don't we don't accept this. We don't want this. But thank you. Uh, we're gonna call this a basic as fuck neutral palette because that's what this is, and we're gonna keep it going. Next. Yeah. Ooh, hello, hello, Armani. How are you? I have never tried anything from Armani. Nothing. So if there is something that y'all recommend, let me know. I've always been interested in trying something. It's just nothing has ever been really uh, super interesting. But Armani is coming out with a couple of things. A Fluid Sheer Glow Enhancer Highlighter, 44 bucks, and a Luminous Silk Glow Setting Powder, $64. A long wearing lightweight setting powder that provides a flawless radiant finish. You know, I feel like this episode is all about blush and all about powder. And I mean, I lost my shit over the Gemstone Magic Troll Powder, but this one, it's doing something to me, all right? My makeup dick is growing and I'm kinda, kinda here for it. So I think I might fucking try this. Is it, is it in Sephora? <gasps> Book it! All right, I'm definitely picking this up during the Sephora VIB Rouge sale because $64, that's pretty pricey for a setting powder coming from the girl that lives, breathes, eats Chantecaille, right? <laughs> who am I? Like, I'm a fucking idiot, that's who I am. Anyway, I am intrigued to get this. Fair with a peach undertone. Very fair with a golden undertone. And I, and I guess I need to get fair with a peach undertone. They look so fucking pretty. And then the liquid highlighters, a multi-purpose liquid highlighter, bronzer, and blush. <gasps> it's multiple things. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> I think I might actually pick up, oh, I might pick up something too. I might pick up the peach blush and the, ooh, champagne gold, pink pearl. <sighs> Bitch. Okay, 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 okay. You know what? In, during my Sephora VIB, whatever, whatever the fucking sale is, I'm gonna do like two parts to it where I'm just gonna talk about things that I recommend and then I'm gonna talk about the things that like I wanna pick up and these will definitely be on the list because listen, during those sales, go big or go home. You know what I mean? <laughs> so why not blow your load on some expensive shit? So I'm gonna go pick that up. That sounds cool. So I want to put this on my face, but already putting that magic troll powder on my face. So this is put it on my face too. <laughs> and I cannot wait to pick this up. So um, yeah, next. Oh, bitch. Okay, bitch, 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 bitch. All right, so Moira. I don't know if you've ever heard of Moira, but Moira is, I don't even know what to really classify them as. How I got acquainted with the brand was I saw them at iMats and I wound up picking up a couple of their palettes and they have really nice stuff and they actually have really nice eyeshadow palettes. I don't think I ever tried their highlighters or anything like that, but I've enjoyed their eyeshadow palettes in the past. Do I use them every day? No, but they make solid eyeshadow. But these mother fucking blushes are so pretty so i feel like the trend these days if it's not going to be some sort of blurring powder to blur all your sadness away or some sort of cream blush product it's blushes or eyeshadows that have these really like intricate pans like really beautiful embossings and i really fucking think they're so pretty there's something about them that is just like yes bitch now these colors, they're they're very pretty, especially like sweet peach and mellow pink. Like those are obviously the colors that I would probably pick. Although that orange one, the orange blossom, like fuck me sideways, that is fucking cool. Will I ever use it? Probably no, but it's just pretty to fucking look at. And for $9, I mean like bitch, you can't fucking go wrong. Even the purple one is actually fucking pretty. It's like a beautiful ombre blush. I definitely want to pick these up and I think I will, but I just need to fit, oh fuck, all right. <laughs> So I just saw one that has like this beautiful like yellow pale pink vibrant like fuchsia ombre. Fuck my face it looks so gorgeous. All right I'm totally interested in this and um yeah I'm gonna go pick this up. Drunk me is buying this. Drunk me is buying this right now. I'm gonna go buy it and <laughs> I basically I'm just gonna buy like 75 fucking pounds of blush and powder. 
I'm gonna go pick this up and I'll do a bite-sized video of this in the future whenever the fuck I get it. I need to try this. This shit's so pretty. We need to know what's up about it. We need to know if this is like a gimmick or not. With that said, for my bingo card, I'm gonna call this pretty embossing basic makeup because we don't really know what it is, but I'm intrigued. My dick is hard. It's, it's fully torqued and I'm about to impregnate somebody. So looking at you, Moira. Next. Yeah! <laughs> we hit motherfucking makeup bingo. I am really excited because this tastes like shit. <laughs> It's at the point where it's just vodka and it's just, it's really bad. But my mom didn't raise a quitter, so I'm gonna keep drinking it. <laughs> Let me know down below if there are any products that you're gonna be picking up or if there are anything that you like for me to pick up so I can do future videos. I don't know, let's, let's do stuff. <laughs> I'm a gross boy. Definitely go check out Emily, Audra, and Lacey and tell them I said, hey girl, hey. And with that said, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, it's free, and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, to all my beautiful, wonderful patron bubbies. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, really, really trashy garbage boat afloat. I couldn't do without you, and I love your fudging faces. I just want to gobble them all up. If you want to know what is currently on my face, along with where to get my podcast, my merch, bloopity blop blop. Everything will be listed in the description box below. And I'll see you little pumpkins later. Jazz hands!